By the time you're seeing this, the strongest egg is probably on sale already. And I'm still taking offers for mine. Mine is serial number 878. It must be a high offer. No low balls. So it has been an entire month without an update. But that changes now. So we, we just got an update and it's uh... I think a lot of people are missing the point here. Of course we got a new Tatsumaki move. Like no way the owner would go one month without an update and not release a Tatsumaki move. At least one. And it's literally a giant arm. And it does 40% damage if you land a direct hit, and if you use it anywhere else, like up close, it should do 20%, I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it does 20%. The weird thing about this move is that it doesn't have invincibility frames, or iframes for short. If you somehow don't know what iframes are, there are moments in the game where you're immune to everything. Some moves have them, some moves don't. That's just for balancing reasons, of course. And this is a good example of where it can be weird. Because this new move, <laughs> I should say, by the way, it's called Down Slam, which is kind of funny since this is Down Slam. We got a fraud in here. If I spawn this guy, so he's going to punch me and I'm going to use my move. But as you can see, I get hit. Now, I still do damage, but I'm just free to get hit and I can't move. I'm trying to move right now, and I can't. I can't do a thing. So for that, like, three to four seconds... How long is it? So it's around, like, four seconds you're stuck there. They can hit you. They can use, like, a one-shot move on you. They can do whatever they want. You're never going to hit a direct hit on someone who knows you're targeting them. It's like a Genos move. You're just meant to use it on, like, the public or something. You're not supposed to use it on one guy. You're just supposed to terrorize the server with it. An arguably more important change has been made to Tatsumaki. If you use Stone Coffin on a blocking player, they don't get knocked back. And it does, like, 3% damage. People really don't understand how big of a nerf this is. They really don't. This is like if Genos got Blitzshot nerfed. Like, it's that huge. This move was carrying every Tatsumaki player. Because with Tatsumaki, one bad evasive can actually end you. And I th that's the case with every character. But with Tatsumaki, you get the most opportunities to punish someone who does a bad evasive. And Stone Coffin only helped them. It, it was so good. Three out of four of Tatsumaki's base moves are now blockable. So Crushing Pull is blockable. Windstorm Fury is semi-blockable. Stone Coffin is blockable. But Expulsive Push is not. And that's fine, because Expulsive Push is really easy to punish if you're sitting there and blocking. You can just side dash, wait for them to use the attack. It's simple. Tatsumaki's almost in the Sonic territory now, where all of the base moves are blockable except one. You can still down slam off of the second move sometimes, like... Here, let me try. Yeah, like that. And then you can continue with that. Before I showed, like, the big thing that came in this update, they added 72 new emotes. 72. You're not hearing me wrong. It's there in the update log. 72 new emotes. This kind of screwed me over. I was going to showcase them, but I rejoined the game for some reason. And I never read the fact that new emotes appear at the top until you rejoin. Then it will be alphabetically sorted. So I stayed there for like 15 minutes and I bought all 72 emotes, but I rejoined. And now they're all scattered in this mile long list and there's no shot I could even find them all. There's just no way. It's not happening. We need emote profiles or something, or like a search bar. Uh, one of the ones I really liked was the, the, the Luffy Gear 5 eye pop. Like we ask for weather so much and this is the best option we have. This is actually kind of pathetic. Please add rain to the game or something, I beg, please. It's all right, man, I got you. I can make you look good, man. The most important part of this update is the new building system. So what the owner did is he basically transferred Roblox Studio into the game. So you have a lot of the power you do in studio, minus scripting, of course, but you can do basic studio building. It's actually kind of crazy. So there's a save menu and you can actually properly save your builds this time. You get one slot, but you can buy more for, I think it's a hundred Robux. Yeah. I don't know if there's a limit to how many you can buy, but 
what I remember from before is you could place as many items as you wanted, but it would only save up to a certain amount. And that personally screwed over one of my projects. But the real thing is this. So you can place blocks individually and there's a grid on the ground, as you can see, and it acts sort of like a guide. So I'll place one block. I'll place a few actually just to demonstrate some stuff. So now what you can do is you can move the block wherever you want. You can rotate it. So this is exactly like Roblox Studio. And you can resize very accurately, may I say. So you can make a little block into a long, big wall. Or you could just straight up delete it. But the most interesting part is definitely configure. So you click on whatever thing you want to mess around with. After you mess around with all the other stuff, you could just clone it and place it more if you want. You can change the transparency of it. So you would do 0 0.1 for the highest transparency. Or I think it's 0 point, like 0.001 or something. You can put a decimal point and then a number. And the closer you are to zero, the lower the transparency is going to be. So if I go like 0 0.9, it's going to be practically invisible. And if you just set it to zero, it's going to be nothing. If you want it to be absolutely invisible, you could just set it to one. So you can change the material, which is basically the texture. So you can do uh, all that stuff from Roblox Studio, like neon wood, all that. If you've ever used Roblox Studio before, and whatever that F3X building stuff is, then you'll know exactly what all of this stuff is. So you can put textures on it, uh, you can change its color, but the most interesting part is the behavior tab. So you can make it give a move upon touching it, or any amount of moves actually. So you can do, you can just make it give you a random move set. Every single move in the game is on this list besides Gojo's moves. So say I want Speed Blitz Dropkick, if I touch this block, I'll click it, and when it's green, I can just touch it, now I have speed blitz right there. Uh, you can make it destructible, although I, I'm not sure which moves destroy the block specifically. You can turn off collision, so you can go right through it. You can make it kill you. Uh, you can make it super fragile, so if you just touch it, it'll crumble. And now this will just disappear. This won't respawn, by the way. Uh, you can do bouncy, which if I leave build mode, it will do this. So be careful when you're doing this stuff. Remember what you enable. You can make a block heal you. You can make it reset cooldowns. And you can make it give awakening. Uh, that doesn't seem very destructible to me. That's pretty much everything with this new build mode. I know for a fact this is not completely finished yet, but this alone is just such a huge leap forward. It's miles better than what we had before. And this is gonna make for some great maps people build. And soon I think we're gonna be able to share maps with each other. I think that was the whole point of this update was we were initially supposed to be able to share our creations with other people, sort of like Fortnite maps. I'm gonna build my own castle, my own kingdom when I have the patience for it, of course. And then if you wanna save it, just go to save, and then click save one. And then if you want to clear it and then load it back up, you just click load one. If you click save one, you're gonna overwrite whatever you saved previously. And there's no warning. There's no warning at all. So be careful. Oh yeah, there's a new cosmetics menu. I saw this. This one is cool. I like this. This is long overdue. So there's no new cosmetics, but it's just a new menu. So you got all the stuff. You can actually see what you're grinding for. Same with the auras. And same with the titles. This is cool because you can have multiple titles, of course, with kills and with ranked. So you can do the rank title, I think, is the one with kills. So that's like S class, A class, all that. And then dual title is I don't know the titles you get in ranked. I never actually looked into that, but it's for those. And then I have my own little custom title, the holy one. The owner was nice and he gave me a little a little title, just a simple little title. So now if a person that's that's trying to look like me doesn't have that title, you know, it's not me. Pretty sick, man. I appreciate it because I have a lot of impersonators, as you have probably already seen. Uh, this is exactly what it looks like. Just your average 200 player server. Oh my god. Oh my... Oh. What it? What is this guy doing? Oh my god! The server is barely stable when people aren't even moving. Again, really. Really. I'm going farther each time. This is ridiculous. Please don't teleport us again. What are you doing? Stop. 
I don't get the point of this. I don't. I'm just gonna let them do whatever, man. You know, I think it, it's a smarter idea to just jump off the map like them. They know they can't win, so they're just ending it all. People are jumping down there. Oh, there is. There's the regular map down there. Wait. Are they are they just smart? Oh, I can just sit here. No! I gotta get through the chaos. Simple. Oh my god. My FPS. I'm here. Please. No. Yo. 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 How did I just do- I just sold so hard. Oh my god. We don't talk about that. 